Hey, Vice President Biden, the, uh, you know, going for president. Yeah, your, uh, your brother, as he called you, Barack, Barack Obama, President Barack Obama. He said that he was his brother, so you got his blessings. Hey, this is a pr pure prune juice. You know, I drink it every once in a while. I actually like the taste. I don't just do, I don't do it for bowel movements. You, what do you What do you do for bowel movements? Come on, we old up there. You know, MSNBC. They used to that Men and I, I've never watched it. Just told me, <laughs> but all these uh, cutting uh, NPR and people like that. That you know, they be advertising that stuff for like that. Ah man, my grandmother, my sainted grandmother. She used to just make the you know the double boiler, the the, the glass double boiler. She make the prune juice and then they, 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 they make real prune juice. Yeah, that's what this is. Pure, pure. It's pure. Just with prune juice. You know. Hmm. But the thing is. I don't drink drinking for uh, constitutional reasons. I walk every morning for constitutional reasons. I do it. I do it for uh, well because I just I like the taste of prune juice. Look, I wanted to come to you just this, this me. Come, come, you remember me? T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. You know, Air Force American, Air Force veteran, like that. I'm in the VA system. <sighs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But I vote too. Look, 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 look. Hey, I vote. See, I vote. Vote Chesapeake right there. See, Chesapeake, Virginia. I vote all the time. I like voting. In fact, I actually live in South Africa, but I vote by absentee sometimes. Uh, I'm not going to admit this right now. Maybe I should. Now I'm not going to be some other time. But look, if you hear some joining in the background, that's because uh, um, you know, I, I stay with my best friend. His son got a really loud voice. You know how black people something get that really loud voice, but he's one of those people that like that. But look, I you know, look at at this particular moment. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I told you about ADUS before. Remember, I told you about ADUS. Remember that it's a, uh, you know, it's it's like a, you know, American descendants of chattel slavery. Well, North North American descendants of chattel slavery, right? And you know, politics is a, you know, it's a negotiation. Not negotiate. What did I say? Yeah, it's an exchange, not a gift like that. You know, but that's not what I want to talk about because at this particular moment, I got this. I got these. I got these. Not bad, but this is like a sample bottle from last time. I'm in Missouri right now. Ah, go figure. I'm all over the place because uh, I'm, you know what I call myself? I'm in, in tradition of uh, of I'm not your Negro. <laughs> I'm sorry. In the tradition of James Baldwin, I'm like a witness traveler. I travel a lot of places, you know. Anyway, so I was going with, with my friend, you know, the, the black man. I talked to him every week about, you know, the, how you how you do a write in, right? Like that. But let, let me let me further explain. I was explain to you. At this particular point, what's going to happen unless you change things? I told you how to change people. I'll, I'll go with it again, but let me just say this, right? Like some guy called, because, you know, I listen to Yvette Cornell and, um, and you know, Breaking Brown every week, you know, uh, twice a week. And then and then uh, once a month, you have to they have the, um, you know, they call the kitten caboodle. You know, you talk to anybody. Anyway, so one guy, he said, because I was just writing, just write, I was just saying, just writing ADOS, no hashtag ADOS. But he said something more interesting. He said, like, say, for instance, I'm trying to find one uh, that, okay, here, here. Uh, for state rep district 77, there's just one person, a dem guy, right? So obviously the person's gonna win, right? So you would put right in and you write in hashtag ADOS just to get it in. Now, if you really want to do something, you know, like if you, if you know, if you knew something like, well, they have, I don't know, that's, a, that's where you used to have Lacey Clay, you know, your boy Lacey Clay, he ain't there no more. Sorry. <laughs> All the, all the powerful are dying fast. Hey, you one of the powerful. You might be going too. Anyway, but let's say you know somebody that's going to be. There's no. There's no contest. I mean, let's go. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't. This is this is Missouri. I don't know. So let me go. Uh, first state rep district, whatever. Right. Uh, they have the Democrat right there. Right. So obviously he's going to win. Right. So remember, there I put A D O S. Now the other thing I'm very interested in is this thing called is Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. He deals with you know racism, white supremacy, right? So in that one, I would write in producejustice.com. So so it, where I can, you know, at least I write in ADUS, we know ADUS um, um, ADUS101.com and some writings, other writings I put producejustice.com. That's, that's my two things. But Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., let me explain Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Yeah. He's he's 90, he's he's your generation. Aren't you up there? He said, your generation. But he served, you know, he served in Korea. He served in the Korean War. That's when he started, that's when he started writing his book, you know, the, Compet the uh, Compensatory Guide about just talking to anti about racism and white supremacy. Explains everything. Been waiting for it since the 50s. Well, the, you know, it was first published in 84. I got that edition, by the way. Mm -hmm. 
it was gifted to me. I'm like, you're not going to get gifted from black people this time because there's too many things happening. It was gifted to me my, for my brother in New York, my, my fraternity brother in New York. He gifted it to me. And I took it down to South Africa. There's this press called, um, oh, what is the press? Oh, man, I love the oppressed. And during, during the Obedo Day of Apartheid, they printed all, up the, all the stuff, you know, up like that. So I got it rebound. The original edition is really big. Rebound, it loved the oppressed. Haven't signed it. So I have a, a bound copy of an American document, right? Bound up by the people that, that put up all the, all, the, all the documents, you know, the freedom documents, stuff like that from, from the apartheid, from the from South African apartheid kind of thing. It's, uh, no way, it's a twisted thing. You, know, you, you wouldn't understand it. It's a, it's a black thing. You wouldn't understand it. Well, maybe you do. You're trying to understand, ain't you? Uh, no, no, you ain't trying to understand. Yeah, no, you ain't. No, you, 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 you. So I knew so. But Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., uh, he, he has this code, right? And, and, and if you really listen to him, well, it's, it's like nine areas of activity. I ain't going to explain it to you. Just go to producejustice.com. You'll get it, right? But he has this code. So personally, I live by the code. But politically, my head is ADOS. You get that? Don't get me wrong. I mean, I had other things. I, I grew up in, I, I grew up in the, the Black Power Movement. You know, Black Power Movement. I feel people like that. Black Power Movement. I mean, uh, you know, the, the Black Arts Movement, you know, the 60s, you know, like that. I mean, one of my great, I'm a, I'm a Henry Dumas Denison. Did you know that? Yeah, including Richard Wright. Oh man, Richard Wright, Henry Doom, that was a one two punch for me, you know. That I mentioned did I, did I, did I, did I also mention James Ball when you ready? You know what I mean? Oh pff, James, man. It's like everybody's the same with dude. You go to whatever you have to say right now, any analysis, just go to James right now. Look at him, look, look, look what he says. And that's that's what it is. Any rate, my, my point is that's what I think. I'm a Pan African, I live in Africa. <laughs> what? You can't get no more Pan African than that, right? Okay, a lot of my friends are pan African. They, they oh, okay, okay. But here's what I wanted to uh, talk to you about. All seriousness, and unfortunately, the way I'm looking at these tea leaves, cause you're you're running, mate. I'm trying. I'm, look, I'm gonna keep on trying to talk to. Her. I'm gonna try to talk to her. Try to you know, you know, ease away. So when when the, when she finally falls, you know, it's not gonna be too rough. You know. No, it's simple. I have to do it because, but oh, let me tell you, because like online, you know, they, they, every, y'all keep on going. So you think that NBC and whatever other people, NPR, are going to save you? Hey, but everybody got a computer and they start to look stuff up, man. I just remember the guy telling you, he just realizing, you know, he just realizing that, you know, that whole uh, uh, pledge allegiance to the flag, one nation under God, just came up in the early fifties, right? All the other versions didn't have that. He just found out I knew that. Long. But you see, these people are coming to it themselves because of the internet or whatever have you. But also, there's this whole movement on the internet. A lot of people, like for instance, I listen to Miss Neely Fuller Jr. on the internet. You got every week, every, um, what is it, Tuesdays, nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern time? Well, I got to get it eight. But, but I just do rebroadcast because they, they they put it up, you know, this guy puts it up, right? So I get it from them. Uh, then, I, of course, I listen to Max Kaiser. That's the whole, whole financial thing. But, you know, he's on RT, so you all don't listen to Max Kaiser. Old Kaiser Report. Stacey Herbert, Max Kaiser, tell you the real deal. They hit that circle, people. But you don't want to hear that, so that's that's cool. That's not that, that cool, but you know that, that's you at your own peril, right? And who else I listen to? Uh, of course, if if it, if it Cornell doing Breaking Brown, you know that's on Mondays and Wednesdays. And I listen to, of course, I got to check Antonio Moore. Now hit that stamp. If it, <laughs> okay, Antonio is like boom. Real black man, and boom, 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 boom. Now you can't mess with. Come on, <laughs> it ain't, it ain't no, you know. It, this, look, this ain't no Jim Clyburn you be dealing with. You be dealing with Antonio. That, that that's Owen. <laughs> and Yvette, she, she, she like, she hard too, but she, you no, know, she's respectful because she, you know, Southern Belle or whatever. No, I'm not Belle. I don't mean that. Yvette, hey, please, I didn't really mean that, sister. <laughs> you gotta be careful, Yvette, man. She come at you, man. You know, they come at you, right? But but hey, but then there's this other sister, Michi X. I started listening to her. She's like Yvette, but I don't want to say street, but she, she's like, yeah, the, you, you, she's like you. You was hanging out with Cardi B for for a second, but he like not. She like Cardi B, but I mean, you know, she like. Let me put it this way: she ad was stock on one side, and she Polish, you know, white Polish on the other side. And but she realized that the Polish ain't gonna save her because they still say it's black. So I'm telling, I love me TX. Okay, wait, 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 let me leave it alone. Uh, I was going to da, da, da. But then another cat that I listened to, 
I know, is bold a fifth column. That's why I got this T-shirt right here. Can you read it? See, Rule Three Hundred Three. What does that say? Let me, let me try to read it for you. I know y'all can read it, but let me let me let me try to read it for you. Let me take my glasses off. I can't read it. My glasses. And it says, "If you have the means at your hand, you have the responsibility to act." Bo or the fit column. I like me some Bo. He be posting all the time. His is a short though, like that. So I like me some Bo. Uh, of course, I I do j- some people I do j- for entertainment purposes, even though they have the thing, you know, it's like edutainment, like like uh, you know uh, the Black Authority, you know, um, what's the name, uh, Tree, you know, because they 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 just whatever, you know, uh, 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 Professor Black Truth, uh, Jimmy Dore, those things, things like that. There's other people that do those analysis. I don't listen to them, you know, <laughs> Jimmy Dore. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, so I look. At, I listen to those kind of people. You know what I mean? I'll be messing with, 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 with your other kind of people. But here's the thing. And plus, you know, I talk to anybody right now. I tell you, did I, tell, I told you before I was talking to this cat. There's a there's a Trump guy. In fact, I've been invited to uh to to this uh, Republican that they have every month. You know, and this just so happens this is the one with this is the week they're going to nominate the uh, uh your boy um um. What's his name? Um, the Trump, uh, Donald Trump. You know, Mr. Trump. They're going to nominate him. But here's the thing. I hate to tell you this. This is not a forecast. I'm just going to tell you this. This without even meeting with them. You ain't going to win. Trump is going to win again. Okay, I know you're going to say, oh, but you know, we got the black women. You know, we got the coalition. You know, we got the, we got this and we got that. And, you know, we can't lose. You know, you, it's just, you know, we can't lose. But let me try to explain this to you, if I can break this down to you. If it went over these statistics, you do realize that Trump uh, uh, won last time because of white women. I know you, <laughs> black people voted like over 90, whatever, 95 percent, whatever. They voted over 90s in the 90s for 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 your girl Hillary. You know what I mean? And Hillary didn't deliver. He, she's supposed to deliver to white women. Did you hear the crickets? <laughs> no white women. <laughs> Hillary didn't deliver to black people. Deliver to black people, you know. But ah, oh. Roland Martin even danced with Hillary, so she she got bona fides from the dancing dancing queen. She the uh, I mean I mean you know the dancing boy. <laughs> so she got all kinds of, but no delivery. But here's why Donald Trump going to win. You do understand racism, but maybe you don't. Okay, everybody wants to be in denial. But here's the thing. White women are not going to let a black, uh, no, they say she's black, but a colored woman be president of the United States, not before one of them go, or they're certainly not over their men, their man. You, You understand what I'm saying? If white women delivered Donald Trump last time, and then you come up there, you, you, who, who, who on your last leg, even if you less, you know, that you got, you got the colored woman. And she's not even, she's not even black. I mean, no, she's black, but she's not like, she's not their black. <laughs> white people in particular, but I know white people, right? It's like, this is our black people. Okay, you go to any nursing home, right? Or any hospital. And you have, you know, you have a lot of, uh, of people, uh, you know, your, your, I guess you'll call them immigrants, whatever, you know, the Filipinos, the, the, the Caribbean, whatever have you. To a person, if you go to a real hospital, the white people don't want them to mess with them. They want their Negroes, black people, ADOS people messing with them. They don't want no Nigerian doctor. They, they may take the doctor every once in a while, you know. But the the the, the, L, L, the nurses and whatever, if they have a, if there's a real uh, ADOS, they want them. Of course, it's them. They know them. You know, you, you know how uh, uh uh who's the guy that just died? You know, the, the guy that hit get over the head on the bridge. You know, when 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 Hillary was running, we know her. We went on, we don't know Bernie. We know her, right? And then Jim Clifford just said the same thing. But so but I just said about you. We 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 know Joe. You know, <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Okay, I'm sorry. My point is. Them white women, they are not going to let no colored girl from this, that has all the baggage that she got be president. And they know that Joe ain't going to, you see what I'm saying? Now, of course, the Donald's doing everything to mess it up. You know what I mean? Because he did the whole, here's the whole, take the post office thing. That's stupid. 
It's stupid. Not forget the white people because they think that oh, because so many black people are poor. You know who else work in the post office? Veterans. Veterans. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> you don't just mess with black people. You mess with post office. You you mess with veterans and the people out in the way rural areas. You you. you. How did Lindbergh make this money off the post? How the, how would the, what's that? How would you use? How do you make some money off the post office? They all the, the mail system, the, 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 the railroad has to run for the post office. How did they protect the railroad back in the robber band? It's the post because of the postal service. But they, 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 don't you understand? You're an idiot. You, uh, oh, who am I? Am I talking to Donald? Am I talking to Joey? I don't know who I'm talking to. All I'm trying to say, okay, that's one thing. Uh, post office. What did I go with the, the white women? Look, that's, that's all. Like I, I can leave it there because you know you. Look, I, I'm just an insignificant little speck on the face of the earth. So I don't expect you to, to listen to me. But you have to remember, I'm a speck on the face of the earth. I don't be hoity toitin with the people with the champagne glass and stuff like this. Is prune juice real? You know. Mm -hmm. I ain't even had a drop. I ain't even altered my state. My brother passed in in in, in May. I ain't altered my say since this May. I'm pure as a dripping snow right now. Are you? Hey, you got to drink a lot of champagne because you celebrate. Y'all yo, yo be celebrating? I know. Yo, your rubber mates probably celebrating. Look, I'll talk to her later. Look, let, let, let me let you go. You, I know you're busy. You got stuff to do. And, you know, I, I ain't too busy right now. I can take my nap. I'm a napper. You know, this thing called, there's a thing from, from Instagram I got, is that the nap ministry. Oh, I love that. I know that woman. Whoa, I'm in the nap ministry right now. So I got a lot of things to do. So, in fact, am I going to take a nap? No, I got I, oh, I to talk to somebody from South Africa right now. So I'll check you later. Bye, 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 bye.